Families are celebrating after drug court graduation this afternoon. Six people who face drug charges now have a second chance at life outside of prison. KCBD News Channel 11's Parker Schaffner was in court for today's proceedings. Would have been dead or in jail somewhere, you know, um, or hurt someone, you know what I'm saying? That's how Brandon Henderson describes where his life was heading before drug court. Instead, he is celebrating his sobriety today along with several others. Without this program, you don't know what to do um, next after you try to stop drug use. You, know, you disconnect from something, so this actually reconnects you with regular life and uh, being out here to be a citizen. People charged with drug possession and classified as nonviolent offenders qualify for the program. It takes at least 18 months to complete, during which they attend support group meetings, meet with counselors and probation officers, show up for drug court regularly, and pass drug tests. Graduate Jeffrey Dollar says he owes his life to it. Drug court has showed me that I used to be known by my condition of alcohol and drugs, and that no longer defines me that what damaged me does not disqualify me, and too blessed that God used my damage and turned into my destiny. It's a sentiment graduate Ashley Ordaz shares. She admits that at first she did not care about getting sober, but now she's been sober for more than 1,000 days. Thank y'all for saving me. I am the person I am today for everything. Thank y'all for saving me from myself. Graduates mark this new chapter with their family and friends. Some of those relationships mended during their journey. I have a healthy relationship. Um, I mended my relationship with my kids. I have good friends, um, and I'm also not worried about the law behind my back. <laughs> and along with a new wife, Henderson was given a new smile to match. He says he now has the confidence to help others battling addiction. I never did actually probably want to be the man I were, you know what I'm saying? I love the man I am today. This is probably, I could say, the closest to being the real me that I've ever pictured in my mind. Parker Schaffner, KCBD News Channel 11.